Hey, I'm Eric Bates. Welcome back to the channel where I teach you cigar box juggling tricks and talk about my life as a professional circus artist. I'm super excited because today I've got an advanced three box trick for you. It's in my act, soon it can be in yours. So grab three boxes and let's do the behind the back pirouette. behind the back pirouette. I'm gonna break it down into three steps for you guys. Plus afterwards, stick around because I'm gonna give you an alternate variation that might be a little bit easier for you, as well as two bonus tricks for those of you looking for a real challenge. Ready? Here comes step one. Okay, for step one, I'm gonna get rid of two of these boxes so we can focus on the hard part, the behind the back catch. What you're gonna do is take the box in your right hand, I'm spinning to the left, and give it a quarter spin so that it's vertical and catch it behind your back. You'll notice that I'm, I'm seeing the box as I catch it. And you could also do that spinning it the other way. And both of these will help you get used to that behind the back catch before we add the next two boxes. Ready for step two? I nearly forgot. You're gonna need two boxes for step two. And while I got you here, leave a comment down below and let me know how this is going for you. It means a lot to me to get your feedback. Okay, on to step two. Step two. Oh. Okay, quick warning. Before you start, make sure there's nothing off to the side in the direction that you're spinning. So if you're spinning to the left, make sure there's no windows or people's faces off to the left. Trust me. See? Step two. Grab your two boxes. If you're spinning to the left, the right hand is going to throw high, and then it's going to move to grab the bottom box. The left hand behind the back will grab the middle box. Step three. All right, step three. Grab three boxes. Again, the right hand is going high if I'm spinning to the left, and then I'm going to wait to make sure the middle box is low enough that I can catch it behind the back with my left hand. Okay, let's look at that one more time. When I throw it, let's get rid of these two. I'm gonna keep my eye on the middle one and wait until it rotates to horizontal before I start my spin. So that way, when I catch it behind my back, it's vertical. After that, all you have to do is spot that last box as it comes in for the catch. Now I promised you at the beginning an alternate version that might be a little bit easier for some of you, and that is instead of throwing the right hand high, you're gonna throw the left hand high, making the bottom box the one you catch behind your back with your left hand. It looks like this. All right, I know some of you are sticking around to see these advanced variations. Before I get into those, let me ask you to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know whenever I put a new video out. Ready? Here we go. Some of you might have seen this one on my Instagram channel. It's the same trick we just did, but with a double pirouette. So a second pirouette after you catch the first two boxes. The key to this one was to keep the low box low so I could catch it behind my back and also have the high one high enough that I had enough time to get around the second pirouette. All right, this next one comes from you, Kato. Take a look at this guy. So you is flashing it the same way that I was flashing it, except he's doing a full pirouette before catching the behind the back throw. You'll notice his low box, he's passing in the other hand and then catching the middle box behind his back before completing the last spin. Amazing. Arigato, you. I miss you, buddy. All right, I hope these tricks helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if they helped you learn the trick. I love hearing from you guys. And thanks for watching. Have fun boxing.